people don't even imagine how how bad the situation is. Orian, a passionate 22-year-old, is dedicated to raising awareness for the climate and reducing her carbon footprint. She wants to emit only two tons of CO2 per year to help fight climate change, as suggested in the Paris Agreement. The two main actions that I take and that contribute to reduce my carbon footprint are not taking the plane anymore and being vegetarian. And I'm vegetarian since I am 16, 17 years old. Since four or five years, I have taken the plane once. I've decided not to take it at all or at least limit it as possible. It's, sometimes it feels like I punish myself. There was the birthday of my dad back in Belgium and he did a weekend with uh, all, the whole family and his friends and it was really important for him that I was there and also for me to be there. But I didn't even consider the option of going. I do other things, for example, I don't buy new clothes or I don't buy new things in general because I only buy something if I really need it. I like to reuse, so for example, this uh, sweater, I found it in my grandparents' house and it's an old one from my grandfather. It is important with a renewable fashion to pay attention because if every week you buy a new clothes from Vinted, you're not especially doing something good. It's better not to buy it if you don't need it. As Europeans, we are responsible for a large part of the um, greenhouse gas emissions. And yet here we feel the effects less. So I am mostly angry for others. Oriane is worried about where the climate is heading, with the global heat and ocean levels rising and the consequences that follow. When I feel anxious, I know that if I go to nature, for example, the beach, it calms me down. For Orian, the beach is a relaxing place, but also a place where she thinks about the actions necessary to fight climate change. Individual actions are necessary, but they are not enough. Even if every citizen of the world would act perfectly regarding climate change, it wouldn't be enough. We need collective actions, we need governments to be involved, we need companies to be, to be involved. Actually, at this point, where the crisis is at, we need everybody to be involved. We need all the layers of the society to be involved. Orian isn't the only one fighting climate change. Søren is a part of the Go Green with Aarhus project. They have a goal of being a carbon neutral society by 2030. The Go Green project, uh, you could look at that as a kind of a framework that contains various uh, sub-projects um, related to, to the environment. And the future plans of Go Green is to, to achieve our goals, right? The City Council decided way back in 2008, when 2030 was far ahead, that we want to be climate neutral in, in 2030. None of the cities and none of the companies will be able to, to achieve those goals. It's, it's not realistic. But still, it's very important to have these goals because it, it makes you committed uh, to, to do stuff uh, that you need to do. So at least you will, you will uh, go into that direction. If you include all the activities that you include, if you uh, run the numbers to figure out what the GDP is for Denmark, if you include all the same elements in calculating CO2 emissions uh, per capita in Denmark, that, that would take you way beyond uh, 20 tons per citizen. And we have to take that down to two in 2050. Can you imagine what that would take? I think we are in dire straits, to be honest. I mean, and. That's your generation. I mean, uh, this is serious. I mean, this is getting very, very serious. We deserve a better future. And if we don't act, there will be no future for us. And if we do act, there will be a less worse future, which is already better than no future.